So Facebook Ads has recently announced a new feature where you can take dynamic URL parameters and implement them into your Facebook Ads. What that means for you and why you should be using them, all and more coming up right after this. Hey then, welcome back to another video of MeasureSchool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and today we want to talk about this new feature of dynamic URL parameters within Facebook ads. Now, if you're not familiar with URL parameters as a whole yet, I would urge you to check out our video on query strings right here that will explain a little bit more why you should be using them and how a um, tracking system like Google Analytics actually uses them. And from that, you will then understand why it's so important that you tag your URLs correctly with UTM tags. So Google Analytics actually can identify where your traffic is coming from and will put them into the right category within your Google Analytics. Now, if you're already doing this with Facebook ads, heads off, this is really a good practice to implement in any kind of campaign. But Facebook has made our life so much easier now because they have brought a new feature into the whole Facebook ad suite, which are dynamic URL parameters. And these are really helpful to tag our campaigns fast. Now, how you can use them and why it's such a time saver. Let's explore this a little bit in our screencast. All right, so here we are in our ads manager account of Facebook ads. And I have an old campaign here that I've ran before. And I've also used UTM tags to properly tag my ads. So if you go to edit here and scroll down, you probably know that there is a field called URL parameters. And that's where I've entered some UTM tags. So I'd be able to identify my campaign later in Google Analytics as well. Now, in order to tag my ads efficiently, I've actually used our UTM tagging tool where I usually would put in the landing page and then define the medium, the source, and implement the campaign name, the campaign content, and campaign term. Now, normally I would go through and actually say, okay, what's the campaign name here? And I would copy that. Put that into that field and then the campaign content would be uh, my ad set right here and my actual ad name would also be inputted here into the sheet so later when I choose my, my campaign source and the landing page I'll get a UTM tagged URL that I could then input into my parameter field right here. So then it would be tagged up correctly and I would be able to identify it later in Google Analytics. Now this was a really cumbersome process if you were going through multiple campaigns, multiple ad sets, multiple ads and had to change this around every time you have a new ad. Luckily, Facebook has a new feature called the dynamic parameters for your URLs and these look as follows. You can simply now take these two curly brackets and input site source name, placement, ad ID, ad set ID, campaign name ID, ad name and so on instead of the actual name and Facebook ads will automatically replace this in your URL parameters. So these are basically placeholders that you can use freely. And in our case, I would just go ahead and say, okay, I will keep the CPC and the Facebook the same, but I want to change the campaign name that should be automatically inputted, which is right here, the campaign name. Then we would like to have our ad set name as campaign content. And we would like to have the ad name as the campaign term that will give us our URL string with these curly brackets in here. So let's copy that and replace this right here. We don't need the beginning of the URL for this URL parameter field. And now those should be automatically replaced in our ad. So once I confirm this, I'll be able to try this actually out by going to this button here and viewing this on my desktop newsfeed. And right here we see the ad. 
And if I click on learn more, I should go to the page, the landing page. And automatically this was replaced with our campaign name right here, UTM content and UTM image. And this should then also be visible in our Google Analytics. So if we go here to the real-time reporting, look at traffic sources, we just see that somebody came through CPT Facebook and we have here our guy from image, Yellow Julian, which is the actual ad name. So this was transferred into Google Analytics just fine. Now this makes my life much easier because now I can just copy this string and input it into all the different ads that I have on Facebook and don't have to worry about adjusting this URL parameter anymore. So if you are using Facebook ads a lot, this will help you out to keep your ads tagging much more consistent, have cleaner data in Google Analytics, hopefully will have you implement UTM tags with every ad on Facebook. All right, so there you have it. This is the new feature of Facebook ads where you can take these two curly brackets with uh, your parameter name and implement them dynamically into your URL parameter template. Now, this is really a great addition because we now can basically take this uh, one string that I showed you and input that in any kind of ad set and it will dynamically replace this with your ad set name or your campaign name, for example, and keep our uh, Google Analytics cleaner and more consistent in terms of the URL tagging structure that we have now in place. So I hope this video helps you out in terms of tagging your campaigns correctly. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel right over there because we're bringing you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian, till next time.